In this problem, we need to figure out the velocity of the ball at which it was thrown. We also need to figure out the height of the ball as it passes player B. We will first figure out the velocity of the ball and then calculate the height afterwards. Let's start off by writing down what we know using our simplified diagram and coordinate system. The starting location of the ball in the horizontal direction is at 0 meters. The location of the ball when it passes player B is 7.5 meters. The location of the ball at the hoop is at 9 meters, which is 7.5 meters plus 1.5 meters. The velocity in the horizontal direction is V cos 30 degrees. For the vertical direction, the starting location is at 0 meters. At the location of the hoop, we have a height of 0 0.9 meters. Remember the coordinate system we picked is at the location of the ball when it's initially thrown. That means at location C, it's a difference of height, 3 meters minus 2.1 meters. The height of the ball as it passes player B is H minus 2.1 meters. The velocity in the vertical direction is V sine 30 degrees. Don't forget gravity, which is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Let's write our first equation for the horizontal motion. We are first writing it for location C to figure out the initial velocity of the ball. We will use this equation. Let's substitute what we know in and isolate it for t. Now we can write an equation for vertical motion, again focusing only at point C and the initial start of the ball. For that, we will use this equation. Let's again substitute what we know in. We now have two equations with two unknowns. We can substitute equation 1 into this equation and solve for v. We now have the initial velocity. Now we need to figure out the height of the ball at location b. Using our initial velocity value, we can write two new equations. Again, the first one is for horizontal motion, now focusing on point b. We can solve for t. This t value represents the time it took for the ball to reach point b. Do not get confused here and use the time we can find from our previous velocity equations because that represents the time for the ball to reach point C. You must write up a new equation to find the time for the ball to reach point B. Now we can write an equation for the vertical motion, focusing on point B. Solve for H and that is our answer. Thanks so much for watching. If there are ways to improve these videos, please comment below.